Captain here is the report on the anomalies so far. Nothing out of the ordinary. Thank you Yulman. You have been working hard. When do you go off shift? About a half hour. You could use some rest too sir. I know. I will be up here for a little while longer. Captain, priority message from Starfleet coming in. Put it on main viewer. Captain Lang, you will proceed immediately to Science Station Alpha Tango. We have lost all contact with them. Sir, we are currently mapping gaseous anomalies. What is our mission there? We had been receiving irrational communications from them and we suspect Klingon involvement as well. We are sending you a mission briefing. Proceed immediately. Understood sir. Navigator lay in a course for Science Station Alpha Tango. Helm Warp 5 as soon as you are ready. I have received a mission briefing from Starfleet. We are to determine the nature of what is wrong at the science station Alpha Tango and evacuate it if necessary. There may be Klingons active there so we will need to be at peak efficiency. This science station was founded to study unusual relics on the surface and survey certain rare minerals there. All our scans show it to be uninhabited although vegetation is plentiful. The scientists working there are all civilian humans with one Vulcan, Kantar. They are all experts in their fields of study. The idea that they could have all lost cognitive reality just does not seem to fit. Report on the planet. What do we know about Polaris 7? It is a typical Class M planet. The sun is in transition between red and yellow but the surface conditions are supportive of human life. Average temperature at the station a little warm at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Is there any chance it is still inhabited? None that we know of. If there are people on the planet, they are living underground and shielded where we cannot read them. As XO do you have anything to add, Eva? What do you recommend? I recommend a standing yellow alert. Also full decontamination procedures for anyone returning from the surface. See to it. We arrive in a few hours. Upon entering orbit, we will sound yellow alert. Entering standard orbit around Polaris 7. All is quiet. Sound yellow alert. Commence scans of the surface. Captain I am getting a voice message and it sounds, well, irrational. Put it on speaker. Love is like a butterfly, a butterfly, and I am its wings. Love is like a butterfly. Can you get a lock on her? Dot yes it is all clear. Feeding coordinates to the transporter room. Beam up the person. Decontaminate when she is here. Dr. Morse to the transporter room. Security also. Love is like a butterfly, what? Where am I? Love is like a butterfly. I am going to put you to bed. You are not feeling well. She is Emily Connor, archaeologist. As you might expect her centers of judgment are depressed. Nurse, I want a full toxicology screen. Do you think it is contagious? I don't know yet, but I have never seen any contagion cause such a reaction. Alright Dr. Morse keep me informed. Scan for anything that might be causing this. Pay attention everyone. 
we are entering a potentially hazardous situation. Our immune systems have been boosted by medical in case there is a contagion. Starfleet believes that Klingons are on the planet although we don't know what they are up to. Set phasers to heavy stun. If you feel threatened, use your weapons. Transporter officer, send us to a secluded area in the colony where no one can see. That may be difficult. People are running around in a strange pattern. It is like watching Brownian motion. Okay chief do your best. Everyone on your toes. Beam down now. Look at that. There is a Klingon dancing and smiling. These people are crazy. Greetings fellow travelers. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? Why are you people acting like this? You are supposed to be scientists. What is wrong with you? We are just having a blast here. Our work will get done. Tricorder indicates an erratic brain pattern like the one we were briefed on. You do know there is a Klingon here don't you? Yeah that guy is a blast. His ship crashed due to a space storm and only he survived. He is a party animal. I got some dancing to do. Catch you later. Come to the party. Captain Dr. Morse would like to speak with you about her patient. Well doctor what have you found? There is definitely something depressing her centers of judgment. Scans indicate no pathogens. Drug use has been ruled out, and the planet's atmosphere is normal. Have you found anything that can account for the behavior? Could this be a prion-based disease? No, the onset of spongiform encephalitis is generally quite slow. It also causes physical damage that is not indicated here. I am going to try a microcellular scan. Once the possibilities have been ruled out, try the impossible. I need answers.
Everyone attention. Officer down. What happened to her? She collapsed. Contact the ship. Medical emergency. Dr. Morse, what happened? She was hit by a dart. I found it on her neck. I am examining the contents. Dr. Morse, I found something. The dart has nanobots inside of it. Here it is Captain. She has nanobots headed straight for her brain. The dart injected a mild sedative. She is being converted into some type of cyborg. Am I correct in assuming that this is the same thing that affected the others? It has to be. I am sure it is. Now that we know what to look for we can solve this. This is the source of the dart. Full analysis. I want Starfleet contacted. Tell them that the madness definitely is alien in nature, but it does not appear that Klingons are involved. I am receiving little from Starfleet. It appears that our signals are being jammed. Are the Klingons doing it? No, I don't believe so. It looks like a ship is doing it. A ship? Have you found it? No, but it seems likely. The interference is coming from deep space, not the planet. Alright, Dr. Morse, what is your report? The nanobots have integrated themselves in our patients. I do not yet have a way to remove them but I am working on it. I believe a brief electric shock may destroy them. Will the patients revert to normal? Yes I believe so. I am rigging up electric chairs to pass voltage through their bodies. Ok Chief your turn. Have the alien devices been removed? Yes they have, though I suspect someone will be mighty angry about it. Ok well we will try the electric shock treatment and see if it will remove the nanobots. I just got a calm message. A Vulcan male is requesting to board the ship. Ok go to the bridge and see to it. Maybe he will have more answers for us. Welcome aboard our ship. I am Captain Lonnie Lang. Live long and prosper Captain. I am Tucker, head archaeologist. Do you have any information that can help us in this situation? Indeed I do. You have surmised by now that the irrational behavior is the result of alien interference. I can tell you that I have heard laughter. We have not detected anyone. Are you sure it is not just the scientists laughing? The laughter did not come from the direction of the strangely acting scientists. I believe that our activities were being monitored. Do you have any ideas who is doing this? Not at this time. Do you have a treatment? I find the infection unnerving. We are working on a treatment. It will cause some discomfort but should cure you. Battle stations, battle stations. Incoming hostile spacecraft. <laughs>